Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. For this video, I'll be doing the non-dominant hand challenge in this book, Evil Chibi from Abby Dev. Stay tuned to see how I go. So for this challenge, I am going to use the Ohuhu Grey Set brush tipped alcohol markers to give me uh, a wee bit of an advantage, I guess, <laughs> I guess, because I think brush tip are a bit softer and easier to use. But this is the color palette I'll be using and I will be selecting a picture from Abby Dev's Evil Chibi coloring book because it's Halloween month or Spooktober month, so I need to do a horror picture. So I'm going to go with this image here, Twin Sisters. Alrighty, let's go. Now I am a right-hander in everything I do, so obviously I have to colour with my left hand. Now the weird thing, and I'm sure everyone that's done this with uh, doing it with your non-dominant hand is that how do you hold the pen I know I'm not holding the pen right and and probably natural left-handers are having a look at that and screaming but it really is quite awkward to hold the pen when it's not how you normally would hold not the hand I mean that you would normally hold a pen with so That's why I thought brush markers a little bit easier, maybe. Because you can have a lighter touch on them. And also alcohol markers. Um, with the bleeding, you can have a lighter touch. That's the theory. I don't know if that's coming across in the practice. So while I'm colouring, and uh, I should be talking as well, but I'm trying not to talk so I can concentrate on the colouring. Mm, I'm just trying to work out what colour I want for their skin. I might go green grey, or oh, lighter green grey, yeah. I'll try green grey for their skin. But yeah, I, I know I need to be talking so that there's some conversation happening but also I want to concentrate so I'll you know want to go silent so I'm trying to find the right balance for both of them can always during editing put uh, some underlying music on this So that if I do go really quiet, <clears throat> you know why? Not so bad, not too bad so far. I may not do this uh, colour background, I may just leave that white. Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> So anyway, how is everyone trying to make conversation here? Uh, I know you you can yell back at your TVs. I don't really know what you're saying, but <laughs> I hope you're all well. And if you aren't, I hope you get better soon. And... Everybody who's causing you a hard time, I hope they all get fleas in their pubic hair. <laughs> so that's my responses to all your answers. No, do let me know down in the comments how you're all going. It's the most wonderful time of the year for me. I love Spooktober. As I think I said last year when I did Spooktober, I'm not a huge Christmas fan. I was as a kid. I think most kids are. 
uh, except for the, you know, the, the family gatherings, which were always had a family fight in them. It's like everybody else's family do that too. Is that just like a traditional Christmas thing? You're all stuck together, so by the end of the day when you're too full of food and if you drink alcohol, you have to have a family fight. Or is that just my family? Honestly, it wouldn't put it past being just my family. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think any of my family watch my videos. But if they do, hi! Hope <laughs> you're well. Oh, no, I'm doing that. I shouldn't be doing that when I colour in. I really am so tempted just to grab it with my right hand and finish it off. But we must not do that. The theory I have uh, colouring this in as well, if I've gone over the lines a bit where I haven't coloured, is that I'll probably use a darker colour there so I can just hide my mistakes. That's the theory. And as you can see, I'm getting very impatient with it. That's why I'm making some of the mistakes because instead of just being gentle and slower with it and taking it line by line, I want to get it colored. Not too bad, but as I said, I think using the brush markers helps a lot. <laughs> I think if I was using something harder, like the chisel tips or the bullet tip, which is what most of mine are, I would be having a lot more issue right now for their hair. I might go a darker blue-gray for their hair. So yeah, I'll go this one. Um, we'll see how that covers up some of that green bit. Here we go, gonna try and keep this in the line. No. <laughs> Completely balked that one. We can do it. Slow and steady. I think in my family I have a one or two left-handers. We're all pretty much right-handed. Although my uncle is a right-hander, but he plays guitar left-handed. So yeah, because I know uh, my dad lent him the guitar, his guitar once, and <laughs> my uncle restringed it all so it was played with his left hand. But with the, uh, I went out, but it doesn't matter because it's a dark colour, so it sort of sits there and looks like a part. That's that's how I'm going to go with it anyway. But yeah, my uncle plays guitar left-handed. Oh, and my dad puts his knife in his left hand when we eat dinner, not his fork. So he's a bit backward on that, but he's a right-hander as well. So yeah. <laughs> Come from a weird, weird family. What about you out there watching this video? Uh, do you do? Are you ambidextrous? Do you do some things with your left hand, some things with your right? I would say I definitely. Well, I'm a right hander when it comes to writing and drawing and coloring and everything. Just trying to think, left-handed. I don't really do anything more with my left hand. Poor little left hand. Doesn't really have uh, much to do, <laughs> I suppose. 
would be really good. Oh, I'm going so over the lines there. That is so wonky. Oh my god. There we go. Nope. Slow and steady. I think it would be good to be ambidextrous. I would like that. Do you also find that people who are left handed are more creative? Isn't that meant to be the case? Because your right brain's where the creation part is. I don't know all the, but I thought that was always. I used to, I find that still even watching channels, uh, artist, artists and, oh goodness, look, see when I try and have a conversation, look what happens. I think I can disguise that by doing that. Yeah, she's just got a really big partner here because I'm just going to bring that part out too. <laughs> Looks like she's got a big lump in her Oh, well, well, doesn't matter. Now, what was I saying? Yeah, if I watch art channels, a lot of artists and um, colorists I've seen are lefties. I always thought left-handed people were your more artistic people. I know there's right-handed people that are very artistic too, but I just thought that was sort of how the brain splits and the right dominant side of your brain is meant to be where all your crea creativity comes from. I could just be talking shit right now. <laughs> Probably am. Yeah, there's the oh no, I should do their eyebrows too, shouldn't I? Completely missed the outline. I'm sorry, Abby Dev, if you're watching this video and butchering your artwork here. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, what should we do next? I, I like the blue gray, so I'm gonna do a lighter blue gray. I think on the dress, on the outline of the dress and the ribbon and the pearls I'm trying not to change colors too much now can you tell coloring and the coloring community I like pretty much with all my crafts I'm not too um, involved in them um, in any of the communities um, that's not because I don't want to be a uh, part of it is because I am <laughs> you might not believe this but completely shy and I find it really hard to approach another colorist or channel or anybody and say hey I'd love to do a buddy color with you or can I participate in that challenge and and that's with my diamond painting and with my cross stitching as well I just I find it hard to do it's not I mean I know I come across as like bubbly and out there a bit in what I do do, but yeah, I'm still at the same time a really uh, shy person and I really do find it hard to uh, insert myself into communities. I mean Sarah from Chronic Colouring Down Under, she was very welcoming and got me involved in a few things so I appreciate that and I have a few have done a couple of buddy colours with some awesome people and I think this is just a long and windy way of saying 
hey if you want to do buddy colors hit me up i'd love to do them i'd love to talk to you all and i would be really glad to do them but um yeah hit me up because i can be a bit shy and probably won't contact anybody <laughs> And that was all really a long-winded way of just saying that. it going and I like the color schemes a bit weird I know but it's this <laughs> gray color palette I'm using and I think what I'm finding that I'm doing oh, besides going out the lines a fair bit pressing too hard because I'm trying to compensate for like I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to hold the pen because none of it feels natural so I'm definitely I know in some parts I'm pressing way too hard and that's what's making the bleed through happen more So I hope you enjoyed that musical uh, interlude, um, which post, or I should say editing Sally will be putting, or has put into the video. I mean, I already know I'm going to do that because I just uh, went silent for a long part, so we need music. <laughs> And then I also started talking about something that was completely irrelevant to anything. So I'm going to cut out the audio and put music over it as well. So, you know, I hope you liked the music. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. All right. So I'll do the corner bits. I'm not going to do the big white bit there. Well, I do the corner pages in. I'll do a dark gray and then I can the corner as well <laughs> that oh the bleed through on that dress is awful it's been odd it's not like it's not, it hasn't been as hard as I anticipated and again I think that's because I've been using brush markers or brush nibs I was using a chisel tip I think this would be really bad and I think the bleed through is happening because I'm pressing too hard to try and compensate for the weird feeling of the pen being in the wrong hand And of course that one I just went completely out of the line so I'm just going to make it evenly completely out of the line. And there we have it. That will do. So I used how many colours? One, two, three, four, five. I used these seven colours. And there it is. There is my non-dominant hand challenge, which of course was my left hand. 
because I am a natural right hand person, right hander, right hand person. It was fun. I think it turned out a bit better than I thought it would, but also very disappointed in all of this bleed through I did here on the dress. Again, I think that's purely because I was pressing it down too hard and too close to the edge because it just felt so wrong holding a pen in my left hand. But I hope you enjoyed the video and me waffling on as I coloured. Thank you everybody for watching. It is truly appreciated. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and the notification bell. I also have a Ko-fi and Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. But again, thanks for watching. This was fun. I will keep an eye out for more challenges and uh, give them a whirl. If you would like to let me know of some challenges that I can do in colouring, um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments as well. And um, I'd love to give them a go. If you're interested in a buddy colour, uh, let me know. Um, you can contact me by the comments here. My uh, contact email is in the about me section of this page of my channel. And I'm also on Instagram at magdesigns13. But let me know. I am surprisingly shy at coming forward and approaching people for these sort of things. So I would love to hear from you if you would love to do a buddy colour or have a challenge. But until next time, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one.